and welcome to my first YouTube video. So my name is Jessica. I am currently in my second year at WGU studying cybersecurity and information assurance. So I decided to start a YouTube channel basically just talking about my journey into cybersecurity and I'm just super excited for this because I kind of have been like amazing myself in a humble brag kind of way about the stuff that I'm learning and the concepts that I'm actually like able to wrap my head around. It's like super exciting. So I'm like, okay, I have to document this because if I can do this, anyone can do this. <laughs> so if I can help anybody along the way, I mean, that's just exciting. So I'm almost halfway through the program. Um, you know, I'm not like moving incredibly fast or anything i'm kind of going at the normal pace um but it's still really exciting i mean i'm super proud of myself <laughs> so anyway here we are sacred like in this first video i would just talk about you know like the application process and what it was like from submitting my application all the way to the timeline of actually getting started on my very first day enrolled so let's get started Okay, so I started my first day on December 1st, 2021, but just to reverse that back a little bit, I submitted my application on October 11th, 2021, and then I got accepted, I got the email that I had gotten accepted on November 4th, 2021, so it was like pretty quick, it was less than a month later. And um, when I put in my application, I turned in everything. I put in my transcripts, I put in um, my financial aid. I also turned in my technical resume, which was like one of the requirements that I had to do in order for the program to get accepted. So I like just submitted everything at once and then, you know, heard back in November that it all got accepted. I did have like a few phone calls along the way, just clarifying a few things on my technical resume of um, just like skills that I had but that was a pretty quick conversation and then it moved right along got accepted so pretty much what the process was like like right from the very beginning like I turned in my I filled out the form online and pretty much right away they set me up with an academic advisor I really loved this aspect because she called me and asked me like what my goals were and I kind of just told her like where I felt like I wanted to be and like in tech and she kind of just like asked me, you know, like clarified a few things about what kind of studies I want to have and I kind of realized I was like aiming in the wrong direction a little bit because when I initially applied I went for computer science and we decided that I was just gonna like niche down even more right from the start. So that's when I decided to change down or change over to cybersecurity and information assurance. Initially, my application was for computer science, but after having a few conversations with her, I realized that I wanted to actually go for cybersecurity and information assurance. So I will say, if you're looking at the different IT programs, don't get like super hung up on which one to choose if you're trying to like maybe narrow it down between two or something. Just apply anyways and you can always change this later because like my initial application was for an entirely different program and I didn't have to like, you know, submit a whole new application or anything like that. They just literally just changed the program like in their system. So it wasn't like a huge deal timeline again so i got accepted i got the email that i got accepted on november 4th 2021 and then what i did from there was that i started um orientation on november 15th i got to know my mentor on november 15th he set me up with my first series of classes and then on december 1st i just went to their website and enrolled enrolled into my classes and i started so yeah, there were some requirements that you had to that I had to fulfill in order to get accepted into the program. They had like four different areas at the time that you could fill that you could meet in order to get accepted. Um, the one that I used was demonstrating technical experience or technical skills through a technical resume. So I had done freelance web design for about two years prior to this. So I had a little bit of like coding skills and just had a little bit of like tech knowledge. 
mainly about web design, so not really anything to do with cybersecurity, but it was okay, it didn't matter. It just had to be tech oriented. And so I demonstrated these skills on a technical resume. I also put some web addresses for the projects that I had worked on. And then that was enough to get cleared. And so I will say though, if you're somebody that has like literally zero technical experience, like none at all, when I looked at it recently, um, choose, this is what you can do, choose option four, and then it'll be to like submit a, a certification and then go to Coursera.com and enroll in the Google IT support certification. Make sure it's the one that says credit eligible because um, you can do this certification super quick. It's a foundational one, so it's, you know, it's going to start from the ground up. You're not going to have to like use out, outside sources to pass it or anything. You can do this certification literally like within a month, I would say, and then turn in that certification. And then what's nice is that when that's done, that will transfer, that will be transfer credit that you can actually use for one of the foundational courses in your IT program. So that's a win-win. That's what I would do if I was you is just do that one. So yeah, that's like, that was what the application process was like. Um, I started my first series of classes December 1st. I literally only got through half of them. It wasn't because I didn't like attempt it. I attempted and I failed half my classes. My second term, same thing, I failed half my classes. But I was able to like get caught up in later semesters, the two semesters after that because, um, well one I had some wiggle room because I had like transfer credits or whatever. Um, but you know, like I'm still standing, I'm still here. It hasn't been super easy. <laughs> I might cut that out. I don't know if I want to share the part about me fail. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, just to keep it real, it was, it's like, you know, it's a whole new area and it's like, it's hard to get through the foundational courses because they're like a mile wide and an inch deep so you're learning all these like you know abstract concepts that if you and you don't really have like the hands-on of what they're actually talking about so i don't know i struggled a little bit but it's exciting because now it's like i understand it <laughs> i've had enough courses now where it's like oh my gosh i'm actually starting to like get these concepts now so it's like super exciting so Anyway, so I think that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions about the application process or what the, program's, what the program has been like, definitely feel free to send them my way and I'm happy to answer, you know, to the best of my abilities. And um, I also do plan on making future videos just kind of talking about some of my favorite things about WGU, maybe some of my not so favorite things. And then also just like talking about some of my favorite classes that I've had as well. So if that interests you at all, definitely come back to my channel and check out when I get new videos up. Bye!